All right, guys, we're at Glen Mervyn today. Uh, it's a beautiful spot down here to camp and fish and, and ski when it's actually open. So, um, yeah, I've seen big reddies in here. I dive this quite a bit and clean it up, and I have seen some big reddies. I haven't caught one yet, but today might be the day. You never know. But, um, yeah, we'll get the kayak off the roof, and we'll get right into it, and uh, we'll take you with us. Ready? Ready for a mission? Hey? Hey? <laughs> Alright, let's get ready. Alright guys, today's I'm using plastics. Um, at the moment they're pretty lethargic, the old reddies, so I'm just going to use a plastic on the bottom, just twitch it real slow. It's actually the uh, minnows we're still using, the bait junkie minnow. They're uh, 62 millimeter, so just never know. I think they're full of eggs and stuff or egging up at the moment, so worms would be the best, but I don't have any. We just had worms and sat here and just like did like a little panonosta rig or something. But probably uh and then when you float over them they'll probably grab it. But um the fast moving lures at the moment not seem to be uh they're yeah, interested. But the real slow stuff like yeah, they seem to be hitting. So um, yeah, still haven't worked out the the seasons, the egg seasons for them, and when they're lethargic, I still haven't worked that one out yet. So they're all different. Every area is different. So like, if they're lethargic here, permanent will be good. If they're good here, permanent will be like off. Fishing will be off down there. So it's really yeah, it's all over the place. We just went a couple of weekends ago down Pemberton, 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 and uh, found some beautiful river systems and stuff. And yeah, spent five hours plus trolling everything. Not even a redfin, and we know there's redfin there. I've seen them in pictures and stuff. People have shown me, and that's where I got the spots from. So it's definitely fish down there. But yeah, as I said, it's that time of year. A bit lethargic and not interested. Just because it's cold, I'm not really interested either. Too cold for me these days. Gotta get the boys out. Boys. Ah, but they're at school, so <laughs> sucked in. <laughs> Alrighty, we're finally onto one. It's only small. Been here for ages. <laughs> but you get that. If I filmed all the times I don't catch something, it'd be very boring, I think. So. That's why I quickly turn it on as soon as I catch something because I've been here an hour or something getting nothing at all and then all of a sudden it happens so if I run the camera that long I just film an SD card up with nothing special so I've got a net there but hey there we go first one of the morning a little bait junkie minnow 62 millimeter want some big ones where's the big ones And that was back out there. So what I was doing there, guys, I was slowly paddling, like really slowly, and just letting it drag along the bottom, just to try and find them. Because most of the time, these reddies hang out in schools. Um, yeah, and I've seen that firsthand when I've been diving. They're just, yeah, in a school. So, um, yeah, most of the times when you find one, in a big bo body of water, you find more um, right next to each other into like little tight river systems and not, not so much because yeah they're just hiding out in their little spot but in a big dam they seem to hang together it's um yeah in their little groups it's weird so um yeah i think it was about here somewhere we got that one. so yeah all i was doing is just had it out the back trolling basically and i could see it sliding along the mud pretty much and then all of a sudden we had that hit I think it was around here somewhere. I had a bit of line out, so I might be miles away. <laughs> Give it another shot. It's about eight meters here. Seven meters, I should say. Yeah, 
there's not much on the sounder, but we'll let it drop to the bottom and then slowly bring it in. I think it's on the bottom now. been a rogue one. Might do a bit of trolling again. Right. Cast it in, let it sink to the bottom, then I'll slowly paddle up and just keep doing lines and see if I can find them. Right. As I said, they're normally in schools in here, so wait till it drops to the bottom. Let's see what happens. Check that in there. Looks like it's on the bottom now. So I'll just go really slow. Because it actually drops off as well, gets deeper. So, yeah, if I go too fast, the line's just going to come out out the water. So you want it on the bottom. Just drag them. Even if it drags through that mud, they get really excited and, and come and have a look, and they'll they'll grab it anyway. Yeah, so we had two strikes just back there, but they're only small. So, whoop. Oh, oh no, he just had a strike then as well. <laughs> Keep going. It was only small as well because, yeah, if they're only decent, they'll take the whole lure, but. Does seem like there's something going on over there though. Been three strikes, no four, well three strikes and I caught that one over there. So it seems to be something going on over there. Community meeting or something. I'll just go across here and I'll head back over, I think. Whoop, that was on. Oh no. <laughs> I might not be going fast enough. That was another strike. Really liking this, um, dragging it through the dirt thing. At least they're not grabbing the hooks. Really, it's really raining. Really, really. It's worth it to get a big ready. Yeah. All big readies. Come on. Don't be scared. It's a lot stupid to go fishing in the rain like this. So you'll be right. Come out and play. Your dog's heading back to the car. Thinks we're going home. No way. We dragged them across the mud in there. Had a heap of little little bites, but couldn't just hook up to them. So I'm actually going to go out a bit deeper and go real slow and just yeah work some different ground. We worked in there like. 
big time. So <laughs> there's obviously only little ones there. We're going to go out a bit deeper, just go real slow, and hopefully we can hook up with some bigger fish. So we've only got one in the boat this morning. Probably lost four, I reckon. So yeah, they actually hit the lure, but didn't take the hooks. So the lure's not that big, so it must have been pretty small. Little baby reddies. Wind's coming in now. It's 10 metres here. Yeah, don't know what else to do. Might be just one of those days. Okay, okay, finally. Might be a good one too. We've been trolling for ages. We finally got it ready. It feels good. Hasn't really fought much though. Wonder if it's just a stick. What is going on? What's, I don't know what's going on. Hasn't fought at all. Oh, now it is. Oh, it might be a good one, you know. Might be a real good one. I think it's a real good one, guys. It's sort of woken up now. I'm gonna let the drag go a bit more. Because I think this is a really good one. <laughs> and it's massive. <laughs> Wow, that's a good ready. <laughs> Woo. I'm happy with that. <laughs> I thought it was a big ready. It didn't really fight much, it was just a lot of weight. Like, look at that, that is sick. Oh, stoked with that, guys. That's a beauty. That's probably my PB out of here. Oh, easy, that is awesome i am absolutely stoked been here for hours man like you wouldn't you wouldn't believe how long it takes to actually get a good fish like ah oh, stoked Woo! <laughs> that's mental ah oh, getting wet it's all worth it now probably get a cold after this oh god you, you smashed it good He's got a marin down his gullet too. No, oh, Jimmy Cricket. He wasn't coming off in a hurry. Not at all. Okay, hopefully where there is one, there is more. So and just go for a slow paddle over the same spot we were just at. See what happens. We've got the measure of withers as well. We're going to measure that one, but that one is my PB for, for this spot for sure. And I can't tell you how cold I am as well. It's freezing. But, uh, that has just made it worthwhile. <laughs> that was sick. Should be about there. Oh, it is the coldest man. Ah, oh, stoked with that. Absolutely, that's sick. So, just go really, really slow. I'm trying to see if that rod, that's the most flexible rod I've got. So, if it hits the bottom, you can see it easier. So, I'll keep an eye on that one a bit more, I think. I think we need to go a bit deeper. I think. Yeah, so that was mid. <laughs> I think the biggest one we've caught out of here to date, and that I didn't even catch it, was um, 38 centimetre. That was my son's. Um, yeah, red fin. 
that we caught, well, that he caught. So I don't, can't tell you how big the red is. I think I've only got 30, 30 centimeter ones out of here. But as I said, dears, I have dived here quite a lot and I do see big reddies. So that was proof just there. That's, yeah, that's a good reddy. So see if his friends are hanging around the same spot. Was around here. We got that hit. I actually thought it was a log at the beginning because it fought and then there was nothing, it didn't fight well at all. It was, yeah, but hitting the bottom now with this one, it's doing its thing. All right. Losing light very fast. So we're here all day guys. We've got only two reddies um, Had a heap of hits, but only small, but um, yeah, I'll get this up to the car and I'll show you the uh, ready We got and it's definitely my PB out of here. So um, yeah, we've got the measurer with us. So we'll Get this up to the car and we'll show you Let's have a look at this guy Much is interested Push his neck back. Oh yeah, that's 40 all day long. 40 centimeter, ready. <laughs> it's probably over. It's over if I go like that. There we go. Perfect, 40 centimeter. But yuti, and he's big too. Big chunky fish. So, stoked. Stoked with that. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to come tomorrow, I think. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you back down here in the morning. All right, we're back down Glen Mervyn today and hopefully get a few more reddies. Yesterday was, uh, all day we're here, we caught one, oh no, two, but one big uh, clump of ready. So that was 40 centimetres, so hopefully today we can do a bit better. I'm going to try, try the same areas that we did yesterday, just to see if something's come around overnight and hanging around a couple of structures that i found. So, uh, yeah, Let's see what happens. Okay, got a fish on. It's not very big. The wind's picked up. Looks like it's gonna rain. Nice, scoff that. Greedy. Scoff that little minnow down. You. <laughs> back over that spot just in case might be a school there What's that? yeah okay we are on again Still small but yeah all right let go of my lure Thank you. 
Okay, we're on again. Only small, no big bumpers today. Small bubby. All right, guys, that was another awesome day down here at Glen Mervyn. Unfortunately, we didn't get the big ready we're after. Yesterday we did, we got a 40 centimeter ready. Uh, got a heap of little ones today. I'm gonna do a fire, get the coals happening, and uh, cook a few readies up. So um, yeah, guys, if you like what you see, subscribe, and we'll see you very, very soon. See ya. <laughs> wow.